Okay guys, this is going to be a review of the Komatsu CK30 made by Diecast Promotions in 125th scale. So I'm going to get to the reason why I bought this model later on, but here's pretty much the box, which I rarely ever show. Um, it's a really nicely Komatsu branded box, and as you can see it says Diecast Promotions. People have been telling me all day today since I've gotten it that it was made by Universal Hobbies, but obviously the box says Diecast Promotions. Um, I know Cranes Etc. guy would love this. It has real specs about the machine. Pretty much the same thing on this side. Back to the front. And on top it has a picture of the real machine. So anyways, on with the model. The arms go up that high. And it dumps that much. And it can curl back somewhat. Not as impressive as the 226. Um, one thing that is really nice about this model is that it has a working quick coupler. I'll show you how to use it. Um, gotta get the bucket off first. It is kind of difficult sometimes. But you know, this is a really good quick coupler system. There. It's best to do it from the side. As you can see, there are two notches right there. They just slide into the two notches right here on the quick coupler, as you can see. And then you push them down until you hear them click into place. Maybe you heard it, maybe you don't. Now, to take them out, you just stick your thumb in there. Let's push it out. Um, the bucket, it's all metal. You do have some... You don't have that much wear playing detail, but you do have a step, which is textured, which is really nice. The quick cup wear is all metal, which is also very nice. Um, the arms, um, they did a fairly nice job of matching the plastic cylinders to the regular paint. They could have done better. Um, the, the, you have the Komatsu logo and the two-speed right here. Um, you have your cylinder once again. With some hydro, with some plastic hydraulic lines. Um, CK30, and the reason I'm not doing the tracks, I'm gonna say that for last, because that's probably one of my favorite parts. CK30 with the new Komatsu logos. This bad thing about this mall is, if you cannot tell, there is unpainted rivets. It's kind of hard to tell, but DCP did do a good job of hiding it, but they are unpainted. Unfortunately, you can probably tell by that one there. There. Um, so, on the back, you have your grill and two taillights and a hitch. And this door does open, revealing the radiator and some good rivet detail. And it just clicks shut. But you have to be careful right here because this latch is plastic and it can break, which is bad. Um, this side is pretty much the same. Just, um, now into detail, like you already know, um, the back radiator hatch does open, and this thing did flip up, but I decided to take mine off, mainly because a few years ago, they was doing a water line, installing a water line, and they had a Komatsu CK35, and they ran it without the engine cover. On it. I just thought it looked really cool, so I'm kind of emulating that. Um, anyways, your cab does tilt forward. It does have a stand right here. This little plastic part. This slides in like that. Right there, it's kind of stubborn. And I found, uh, I found out that taking off the hood, just separating it from the cab, is an improvement. Um... The cab does go forward that much, uh, compared to like that much before, so you can obviously show off the engine detail a lot more. You can see all the hydraulic lines and stuff. It is very detailed in there. You, it's just very impressive. By DCP, you can see the tail lights right there. Now, inside the cab, what I really do like is that the safety bars do fold up and down. I don't know if you can see in there or not. Right here. 
so I don't know if you can see. But yeah, it does fold down. You do have um pretty detailed inside. Obviously, if the bars do fold up and down, then yeah, but the levers are pretty detailed and such, which is really good. Um, your whole cab mainframe, or the, or the roll guard, it is all metal, which is, I think is a really big plus. Um, now to the part I really do like about this model, it's the tracks. They roll very, very smoothly. You know, maybe not on here, but they roll very, very smoothly. Uh, I mean, it doesn't take really any effort. And what I really do like about it, I'm going to take one of the tracks off for a second. You have a, they actually grease the sprocket on here so it can roll the, tr so the tracks can roll easier. And also, um, two of the five rollers do actually work. This one and this one. As you can see, if you can see that spiny, shiny um, part on the sprocket, that is grease that they put on there themselves. I did not touch it. I really do think this is a really, really nice model, though. And they are not individually linked, so do roll separately. On the bottom, it says diecast promotions crafted in China and licensed by Komatsu. Um... All in all, this is a really, really nice model. I would suggest getting it if you are lucky enough to find one. If you do get the CK, if you find the CK35 but not the CK30, get it. It's practically the same thing, just different linkage back here. So I mean, I would really suggest getting the CK30 or 35 because of the detail level. Now, like I said, people have been asking me why I bought this model. The main reason is because I just like the overall look of it and especially how the tracks are and the rolling rollers so i mean all in all it's a really nice mall i know many of you guys don't like 125th scale but i really do think that this is an exception and that a lot of you guys should have it so that's my review of the kamatsu ck 20 i mean 30 made by diecast promotions in 125th scale so thanks for watching guys